know, I wasn't even there. All I knew was what I could hear, uh, which, you know, sounded wrong. <laughs> I think there was some sort of mix up with the session and then, you know, I guess we got the wrong band. Biggest acts in an exclusive live session at Maidavel Studios. It's only Kasabian. Okay, well, what you've got to understand is Kasabian have a reputation for being one of the most punctual bands in the entire world. So obviously, when they didn't show up, with just a few minutes to go before the session started, we were all just a little bit concerned. Where the hell are Kasabian? I don't know. I no, don't not good enough. Where are they? Just a case of mistaken identity, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were we were in London to do this really big gig. At a place called the Sound Bucket. I don't know if you know. It's a, it's a, this hip underground. Anyway, we got lost and had to ask for directions. Yeah. Plus, Damo really needed to take a shit. Excuse me. He needs to take a shit. I mean, to be honest, I don't even know how they got in the building. You'd think that wouldn't be quite so easy to do. I was expecting a band, OK? And a band showed up. What, are, what am I going to do? Oh, thank God. Right. Oh, come in, come in. Hurry up. He looked like he was waiting for someone, but it, I don't know who he was waiting. He so led us down this corridor. Oh. OK, so we're going to get you in there and we can lay this thing down as quickly as possible. Oh, thank God. Don't worry, we'll mix it as you go. OK. I'm going to be watching you through glass the whole time, but it's totally soundproof, so you can be as loud as you like. Yeah? Demo, Demo needed a shift, but the, the next thing we knew, we were we were in a studio being asked to play a song. Yeah. No, 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 you don't understand. A toilet. Yeah. Is a toilet in here? Once they get going, it'll be absolutely a brilliant set. I think, yeah, right now we can get on with that session. Maybe I should have realised, quotes, realised, uh, when they started singing. I don't know why, but when I see a midget, I just want to pick him up and run and see how far I can get. I get the feeling with the average midget, I could probably make it quite some distance without breaking a sweat. That's not good. And who would stop me? How would it end? Would most people just assume me and the midget were friends? Who are these we were fucks? around, lifting each other off the ground. Or maybe he was in a rush and I was helping. But I've got so used to thinking this through I'm scared it's something I might actually do Seriously, under that circumstance I don't think I'll be able to help myself And once I have the midget Where the hell would I even take the midget? I mean it's not as if I have a plan Besides there's only really so many places That you'd be welcome with a struggling midget Held in your hands And would he talk to me? What would he say? Would he ask where we were going? Would he tell me his name? And would I have to explain? I was perfectly sane. It's just the both of us that got a little carried away. Him in a more literal sense. And would I be caught? Would I be charmed? Would I get slightly famous? Would I be sued? Would it make the news? Would there be copycat cases? Would midgets take up arms and fight? People of average height. And what would that look like? This shouldn't be going out on air. My lord! The midget army approaches! And send for my generals and tell them we must build a wall. Okay. At least five feet high. Okay. My lead! Dead cat I know, I don't get this name, because there was all... I, I, is it, it, no, it's terrible, no? You are a real band. We're a real, we're a real, real rock band. band, yeah. With a song about midgets.
and other songs as well. There's lots of songs, mm -hmm. but that, yeah. You live and you learn, don't you? You live and, and you learn. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a problem. I, I have been thinking of late about, about going freelance. Just a coincidence. I've got lots of fingers in pies, you know. I've got fingers in pies. I've got, you know, I've got pies coming out my ears. It's Kasabian I'd be worrying about. Well, uh, poor old Kasabian, where are they now? Difficult third album. Ooh. You know, I've never even listened to Kasabian, so. And what does that say? Probably won't be having you back there again for a while. I, I don't know. I mean, they, they did say they were putting our picture on the wall. No, they're putting our picture behind reception. Oh, cool. That's not the same thing.